are medications that need to be kept within a narrow therapeutic range, like a blood thinner or an anti-epileptic or an immunosuppressant medication or any medication that has toxicity. Some drugs you can just prescribe and there's a wide range where the levels can be and you're healthy and they work. Other drugs you have to keep in a narrow therapeutic window or if they're too low, they don't work or if they're too high that you can get sick. And so for drugs like that, uh, CBD, you do have to be careful with it. Um, and so again, blood thinners, I, I haven't heard any cases of people like bleeding to death from taking CBD, but you certainly want to tell your doctor if you're starting CBD and you're on blood thinners mm -hmm. or medications for epilepsy or immunosuppressant medications. And um, you and your doctor together should determine if you should test your your blood, the level of your blood thinner more frequently, the level of your anti-epileptic more frequently, if you should test the level of your immunosuppressant medication more frequently. And what this really comes down to is we need to destigmatize the conversation around cannabis. Doctors need to stop having this snooty and dismissive attitude so that patients feel comfortable coming to them and saying, I'm trying medical marijuana. I'm trying CBD. I'm on, I'm using CBD so that we can have open communication and open dialogue because the worst case scenario is that patients are using cannabinoids, medical cannabis, CBD, and all the other cannabinoids, THC-8, uh, CBG, CBN, CBC, THCV, all these other cannabinoids that are just around the corner that we're discovering and that people are using. And the worst case scenario is that they're not discussing it with their doctors mm -hmm. and that there are these like two parallel non-intersecting medical systems and that nobody knows what anybody else is doing and that we're having these drug interactions. So what this real, what's really important is that we all stop judging each other and that we communicate with each other and if that if we do that, then we're not going to have drug interactions. It's only going to happen if we can't freely and openly communicate with, with each other. So we've got to stop with the stigma and stop with the judgment. And that was my mini TED Talk. So. <laughs> thank you all for attending. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Grinspoon. This has been uh, an absolute plethora of knowledge episode. Wow. Um, I know I even I, gave myself a headache. Uh, <laughs> I've learned so much. Um, I'm definitely going to look into to THC-8 and I'm going to tell my dad to lay off the CBD because I didn't know about the interactions, but that's good for him to know as well. well. No, no, no. He should talk to his doctor. Talk to his doctor and yeah. and consider consider uh, laying off the CBD. I don't know. I It worries me. You know, like if, if uh, his blood thinners are thinning his blood and then he takes some more CBD and that thins his blood anymore, like. I don't know. I just, I worry a little bit about him. So I would like there to be more research as we all would so that we can really answer these questions more fully. But um, I really appreciate you sharing, sharing the knowledge that you have with us right now. Well, always a pleasure. Thank you so much. And now for your latest U.S. cannabis news. March has been a very busy month for marijuana-related bills at the state level. On Wednesday, a key Senate committee in Tennessee voted to pass a bill that would legalize medical marijuana. On the same day, a Senate committee in Alabama voted to pass a bill that would decriminalize marijuana possession. And if that one passes into law, possession for anything under two ounces of weed would no longer land someone in jail for up to 10 years in Alabama. It would instead be a $250 fine. Two cannabis-related bills also made big moves in Hawaii this week. One bill would increase the amount of cannabis that's considered decriminalized on the island, and another bill would legalize recreational sales and cannabis home grows for anyone over the age of 21. Both bills are now headed for the Hawaii State Senate for a final vote. A bill that would legalize medical marijuana in South Carolina is also getting a hearing this month. Republican Senator Tom Davis has been trying to get medical cannabis legalized in South Carolina since 2015, but this time he's got strong backing from a lot of influential veterans groups and healthcare advocates. And in parts of Nevada, drive through weed dispensaries will soon be a thing. The Las Vegas City Council voted unanimously on Wednesday to rescind a citywide restriction that had banned marijuana retail drive throughs 
So pretty soon you'll be able to pick up some top-notch bud, grab some fast food munchies, and get married by an Elvis impersonator all without leaving your car. And really, isn't that what America is all about? Thanks again to our wonderful guest, Dr. Peter Grinspoon. Be sure you follow him online. He truly is a national treasure. And do us a solid, hit the subscribe button wherever you're listening to us right now and spend a little time over at differentleaf.com where you can find all the issues of Different Leaf, the magazine. You can also find us on social media at Different Leaf and I'm at Brit the British. And thanks as ever to our magnificent producer, Andrea Moraskin, and thanks to Homebody for the music.